Send effects can route their output to aux channels instead of back into the instrument. But with the gainer module, you can send a signal from the group directly to an aux channel. In today's video tutorial, I'll show you how to route a group to an aux channel using a gainer module. And never miss a tutorial by subscribing to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ADSR Toots. So send effects can route their output to aux channels instead of back into the instrument. But with the gainer module, you can send a signal from the group directly to an aux channel and optionally out to the hardware effects or into your DAW. So what this does is it bypasses the instrument effects. So this entire chain gets bypassed. Normally in an instrument, um, the signal flows downward from, from the uh, group to the instrument bus to the insert effects. Using the gainer module, you can um, send the signal directly out of the instrument from the group and you'll bypass the um, the insert effect slot. So let's take a look at how you can route a group to an aux channel using a gainer module and then route that aux channel to your DAW. Um, in this case I'm going to use Logic Pro X and then I'm going to be inserting one of my favorite reverbs of Ahalia Room. So first what we want to do is we want to select the group we want to route the aux channel to by selecting it in the group editor. So just open up the group editor. In this case, I only have one group, so not a, not a big deal. But if you have multiple groups, you want to make sure that you select the one that, um, that contains the, the uh, sounds that you want to route to the aux. And also a trick that I always like to repeat um, is if you have more than one um, group um, selected, if you go to the monitor tab and you go to groups, you can see a list and it lets you select um, more than one. So I just made another group just so you can see it in action. Okay, and, and one other thing is if you are, if you do have more than one group, make sure you turn off edit all groups. Okay. Now what you want to do is you want to add a send levels module into the group insert effect slot. Okay. Now in the insert um, in the instrument send effects module, you want to add a gain a gainer module into the slot. Okay, so this is how you control the send levels, and this is how you return um, control the return level, and this is the the individual gain of the gainer. Um, and for what we want to do, um, is best to leave everything at zero. So after you insert the gainer module into the send slot, the return control appears, and this is what you see down here. What you want to do is you want to click the eye icon, this little icon right here, and you want to choose um, one of your auxes. I'm going to choose aux one, and this is where the output of the gainer will be routed to. So instead of going back into the instrument, so um, what happens is it goes source, it goes group. Um, and then from the group, it goes directly to the send effects, and then the send effects goes when you it goes when you use a gainer, it goes instead of coming back into the instrument to keep going down, it goes directly to the aux, so it bypasses the instrument bus, it bypasses the insert effects. Okay. So next, what you want to do is you want to go to the output section. Okay, so um, in the output section, what you want to do is you want to route aux one to uh, one of your uh, host outputs. So right now it's not connected, but I can connect it to anything. So in this case, I'm going to choose uh, one, two, three. I'm going to choose three. And I said three, but I ch you see me pick stereo four. Uh, the main reason I say this is because one and two is dedicated to the main output. Um, of the instrument and this is true across all DAWs so no matter if you're using Pro Tools or Ableton the first two channels will be the the main output the monitor and um, I, I want to use a different channel so that's why I choose Stereo 4 which will 
basically be the third aux that you see, okay? Okay, now I'm going to shift gears to um, Logic. Let me close this so you can see. In Logic, I have um, I have the auxes here. Actually, let me make sure I'm on the right place. Okay. All right, so I have my auxes already added. And uh, if you don't know how to add auxes um, to your um, DAW, you might want to consult your manual or look for some additional videos on YouTube. And logic is pretty simple. Just add, click the plus sign. Okay, so I'm on aux three. So what I want to do is I want to insert my reverb plugin. Um, in this case, I'm using the Halia Room. Okay, and because I'm using it as a um, because I'm using a gainer module as a aux and I can control the return there, um, it's best to use it as an insert here. So treat this as a, um, like you would a um, an aux track, like a bus in your DAW. So normally what you would do is you would route the output somewhere else and then control the return level there. Um, treated as such here. So I'm going to add the Halia as an um, just as an insert versus a sin. Okay, so I have a Bahalia room in here. Okay, I'm going to leave it as is. And then I'm going to go back to contact. Alright, so now you can hear the uh, you can hear the effect clearly. Uh, all right, so what I can do now is I can control the return in a couple different places. I can control it inside Logic. Um, I can control it in the output section. Um, I can come to the the aux and control it here, or I can control it using the the return module. All right, let's dial it down. So now you can hear it. I'm gonna turn it up just for effect. Man, even on, even on default, the Halia Room sounds amazing. So the gainer acts as a transparent bridge between the send slots and the aux channels. This allows you to send signals at adjustable levels to the aux channels on a per group basis. So what this does is it increases routing flexibility and can save CPU resources by moving send effects in multiple instruments to an aux channel. So this is a perfect example of, of how you would want to group everything together that uses the same effect. Um, versus having each group have its own effect because that takes up more CPU resources. And don't forget to check out our website at www.contacttutorials.com for more contact tutorials and sounds. ADSR contact tutorials, supercharger contact skills. This is DJ Nice signing off until next time. Michael makes some music.